Hello everyone, Kevin Faye here, Adult Services Librarian with the Casa Grande Public Library, giving you another iPhone tip of the week. Now this week I'm going to talk about editing the home screen. And this is kind of a big change for iOS 14, so I'm not going to go into that change. I'm just going to go into how it, um, it's it been traditionally done. Um, but uh, there are some big changes in regards to organizing your apps on your home screen. So. Uh, keep that in mind. Um, editing your home screen, uh, if there are apps that you want to move around or to delete or to move into folders, um, that's what you would need to do is to edit your home screen in order to do that. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and try it. To get to editing your home screen, you have to use the touch and hold menu and if I touch and hold on any one of these apps, I'm going to touch and hold on the Google Maps app. It brings up that touch and hold menu, but it also brings up some other commands. Uh, you can share the app, delete the app, so that's how I would delete the app. But you can also edit home screen. If I tap on that, now all of the apps on my home screen are jiggling. And if I tap on the X, it will ask me if I want to delete the app, and I don't want to delete it, so I'm just going to say cancel. But that's another way of, of, of removing an app. If I want to move an app around, I touch and hold on the app, and then I start moving it around, like so. And when you move it between apps it will like make room for it but you can't put it in like a blank area if you put it here it will just put it to the closest app you can't put it in an area where it's not there isn't any other apps being occupied by it so if you want to move it between apps you go like that now the other thing that is popular to do is to create folders so i'm going to show you what a folder looks like I'm going to get out of the edit home screen mode. And this screen, this is my second home screen, and it contains all my folders. And you can see um, all of my folders have certain um, labels on them uh, that tells me what is inside those folders. All in all, folders do, um, do two things. They, one, help you to organize it and help you help to make it easier for you to find the apps that you're looking for. So if I was looking for a game, I would know it's in the games folder. And then the second big thing that folders do is they help you to conserve real estate on your home screen. There are about 50 apps on this, in all these folders. and Having them in folders makes makes it easier to have it on one home screen. So to create a folder, again, we need to go into the edit home screen mode. And then when we move an app on top of another app, notice a box will come up. So when I did that, a box comes, comes up. So go like that. And the, the device will kind of look at both of the apps and give it a name. Now, you may not like that name, so you might want to tap on the X next to that name and give it another name. This is probably not the best name for it. So that's how you can create a folder. And then when you get out of it, you've got that folder there. Now. If you want to, if you no longer want to have a folder, what you do is you tap and hold, you go back into the edit home screen mode, tap and hold, and move the app outside of the folder, then do it again until there's no more apps inside the folder. That does it for editing the home screen. Um, I hope you learned something today and uh, stay tuned for next week's iPhone tip of the week.